very much. So I now hope that you are all uh, fantastically networked with every single other person in the room so that you can go and do the LinkedIn mapping uh, that Dan was showing us earlier. Um, so really this next bit of the day is about finding a little bit of context of what we can be doing on campuses, um, what the government is trying to do at the moment, but really I wanted to kick off by providing a little bit of context to what enterprise sites are doing on the ground. And for that I'd like to welcome the President of Manchester Entrepreneurs, Mr. Daniel. Hi guys, um, my name's Stan, thanks for the and um, uh, before we start, um, how many of you are from the university, and how many are from colleges? Okay, so quite a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about is really simple, it's about a society. So for those in college who might be not familiar with the term society, I'm not talking about society as a whole, I'm talking about a student society. So by saying that, it's a bunch of students who have come and aim or a common interest. So they get together and act upon that. Okay? Um, I'm going to show you at first something that we did um, a few days ago. Actually, on Friday, so we can move it for a second. So whatever's going on with Northwest, it's me responsible for it. Um, I'm also really passionate about business and enterprise, and um, I always say I'm a lover because my girlfriend's actually jealous of me being so passionate about enterprise. And um, now a bit about Manchester Entrepreneurs, okay? Um, Manchester Entrepreneurs is a society with a mission. It's a really simple mission. It's to simply educate, inspire, and connect students, uh, students like yourselves. Um, now, as you can see there, um, you have quite a few different things that we kind of address. And the, the main problem is being the lack of the skills training within university. You get academia, it's all really nice, especially if you're doing Bachelor of Arts. There's a lot of information going through your head, but you don't really have these practical skills. Okay, and that's something we tackle. Um, another thing is uh, changing the perception of careers. In our university, in the University of Manchester, predominantly, um, good career means working for Goldman Sachs. And that's what most of the people think. And it's a huge misconception because 50% of students graduate and work for small medium enterprises. Another problem is um, students and money. Okay? Every single event has a prize. And we're trying to help students a bit with this cash flow. And lastly, getting work experience, once again, pretty much what it says on the team. Getting the experience while you're at university. So when you graduate, you can say, you know what, I've actually done this sales workshop and I've sold 700 pounds worth of product. Okay? Um, now, History-wise, we were founded in 2008 with the simple idea of to start a student apprentice because it was a really booming TV show back then. 
point still is kind of, isn't it? Um, now then we've got, um, in 2010, we've got the Enterprise Educators Award, and we've also hosted NACU and SEP, which is coming in February, I suppose, isn't it? February. Um, great conference, and make sure you attend it. It's marvellous. Um, literally changed the way I see things. Um, and lastly, we launched uh, Manchester Biz, which is like a student newspaper, uh, but just entirely about business and enterprise. Um, now, back to today. At the moment, at this moment of time, we've got over 3,100 members. Um, we've got, um, we operate in two universities, University of Manchester and Manchester Metropolitan University. Um, we've also uh, partnered with loads of departments, so we've got Manchester Business School, Career Services, um, we've got Enterprise Centre, and we've got even organisations outside the university that, um, for example, Pro Manchester, which is like a business club, and they support us, they let our, our members go to the events and basically attend what the real business people, people with business needs, attend. Okay, um, and lastly, we've hosted quite a few events. Um, big sales challenge is the one I mentioned. We've like this year we've raised close to seven hundred pounds in a big sales challenge, and the money went to students, to, to the winning team who participated. So, and the event was for about what four and a half hours or so. So I think it's a fairly good money if you think about it. Um, to continue with alumni, our alumni is a fairly we've got we tried to develop a bigger alumni network. And um, at this point in time, we've got Edwin Ronnie Mensah, who's on uh, the left, on your left. And um, he's uh, from Give Me Tap. Um, some of you might have heard. Anyone heard about Give Me Tap? Yeah, so he's one of our alumni. We've got um, Armon Ahmed, um, which is on the right-hand side. Um, this guy is making roughly about £1,500 a month from YouTube, YouTube advertising, and selling sleep music. Okay? So, um, and then obviously our own, um, not your people are, she's developed um, a network between Russia and colleges in the UK, and she's making quite a good margins of that as well. So, student entrepreneurs. Um, now, why an enterprise society? Why, why would you want to be part of an enterprise society? Why would you want to start an enterprise society if you're in college? And the answer is really simple. First of all, um, the benefit is the peer support and the networking, which university will, or, or college will never offer you. Right? You communicate between yourselves. If one of you has got a good idea, right? um, and, but you, let's say you, you don't have the skills to execute it, or you don't have, let's say, IT skills, then someone within that society probably will have IT skills that could help you. And this is what society does. It leads you together. Okay? Now, um, you also don't have, compared to the university, you don't have any restrictions. Well, technically you can. They say you can, but you always break the law somehow while you're at university. I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying you can do that. Okay? Um, <laughs> Now, um, with this is, um, this is something the university will never be able to do because they've got traditions in place. Um, another thing is real business experience. When you run a society, you initially run a business. You have cash flows, invoicing, everything in place, basic accountancy. It's pretty much a business. So what I'm trying to do now is just to tell you, think about, think about being part of society. Think about running it. If you don't have one in your college or university, think about it. Um, now, obviously, it's a really easy opportunity to make mistakes. And by easy, I mean it's risk-free. So you can make mistakes and no one's going to punish you for that. The worst thing that can happen is your society is going to fall apart. Right? And this is never ever in your life you'll get this opportunity to make mistakes without getting paid for them. Um, and it's always fun, as you've seen from the video. But um, enough talking. Right? I'm going to show you the proof. With this video you've just seen, we've launched it on Friday. Right? From Friday up till yesterday morning, we've had 6,768 hits. Okay, so that's in just three days, almost 7,000 people. And I think at the moment, last time we've checked, it was like seven and a half probably, around that. Now, um, a lot of things from it, it's not just a fun video as it might seem in the beginning. There's actually business involved. It's, a, it's a actually um, sort of marketing campaign for uh, one of the beanies that our society has launched. Well, business within our society. As, as you can see over there, um, the, the beanies that everyone's wearing is actually a product that was sold to university. Um, there's a contract with the university, and the, and the, this, the business within the society is making margins on that. Um, also, peer support, as you can see, um, lots of students had about 20, 25 participating in the, in the splash mob. And everyone's supportive, everyone's like, kind of like, yeah, let's do it together, let's do it together. And then, obviously, mistakes. Lecturer did not know that we were there. <laughs> so um, we walked in and said, oh, we've got a quick announcement. Um, okay, and she was actually asking, you're not going to cause any trouble. <laughs> and yeah, and that's what happened. If you go back home, just smile in the end of the video, so it was all fine. 
And um, another good example is the marketing campaign <coughs> that we, we've run. Um, this is a really brief, uh, brief one. Um, but with this, it's a regular flyer. So we redesigned a regular flyer and gave it out. And we've got, in return, 1,500 members signed up in the freshest space, so it's in the times of the week, and created some good buzz. Right? So you went to a club and you see people there. Um, and this is all I wanted to tell you. Just think about being part of society. It gives you ridiculous opportunities. Thank you so much. members to remarkable heights. I mean, last year they were handing out microfinancing. This year they acquired um, almost, I think, 2,000 members just from Freshers Fair alone from their innovative